Okay, today is bring that down. January the 11th, Thursday, January the 11th, 2018. Mm -hmm. This is the Council on Aging Board Meeting and Senior Services. Yes, all right. Uh, anyone here for public session? I don't see anything from public board. session. So we'll skip through that. And uh, how about a, a proposal on the minutes? Uh, approving the minutes. We need a motion. Motion approved. And Jim is, Spencer is uh, uh, seconding it. As the, does anyone have any uh, additions uh, or corrections to be made to the minutes? Okay. All those in favor of approving it, say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay. It has passed. They have been approved. Uh, Linda, you're up for a three-year review of revolving accounts. Can I ask uh, maybe Joanne to come first just to give her, she just wants to show a okay. little show and tell first so oh, she can go back to work. Okay, no problem. <laughs> if you don't mind a little. Slip you right in there. That's okay. There's been um, some plaques and name plaques and dedication plaques and things mm -hmm. that we've ordered for different things around the building and one of them was for the tree that was dedicated to Micah Hearn mm. and I'll pass it around. Oh, oh, okay. yeah. do that. The tree died. This was supposed to be done a few oh, years ago yes. I think so and it was yeah. actually Bob that brought this up so we made it happen. Where is that? Yeah. It's going to be the tree in the ground. Yeah. Uh, the trees are there. Yeah. Yeah. The trees are there. The we're going to have to wait until spring so we can dig a hole. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 Just for yeah. outside. Yeah. 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 It's, it's an artificial stone. Uh, Very nice. Nice. And then the piano. The piano. We have a plaque for the piano that we're going to put on there. And we have, there's a mirror with leaves around it that John Riley that he, you know, donated to us. And in the pool room, the pool cues and things, uh, Ralph Taylor. Mm -hmm. And then on the opposite wall, the paintings, the artwork is Charles Miller. So there's plaques under there as well. And there, there's this color. And then in the beach store, finally, we put Mary's Nano name on, on her picture because people were saying, well, who is this lady? You know? So we put got a little plaque that's in Good. memory of Mary yeah. Meadow. So just wanted to show everybody what it what they look like and they'll be up this one will be out in the spring. Thank you, Joanne, for doing that. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah, I like the addition of the tree on it too because it highlights the fact that the trees are in front of it, that's where it's here. Yep. So and they've got a stand that goes in. Bob said he'll dig a hole and put the cement in there. So it doesn't walk off on us. <laughs> very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Joanne. Yep. You're welcome. Now we'll move on to the three-year review of revolving accounts. Everyone has. Their so this is a, 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 a you all asked for this um, at our last meeting, and this is a group of pairs. And again, this is just the um, the income. Um, it's not the expenses. Um, but what I did is I highlighted the ones that really kind of stand out. Um, but you're more than welcome to add, ask any questions about any of the other ones. So because it's pretty, it's a really pretty lengthy report. Um, so the bistro, you know, it's mm. a good work. You know, that's all I can say. Right. From about 569 to 5,787, and, and half a year. That's what I want you all to understand that the 18 F18 is FY18 is only half of the year. So you know, awesome work. Um, and then the other one that really s is significant is the building rentals. Mm. Um, and um, so we're talking 13,000 now, and again, it's only half a year. This, I really think that this is one of our significant fundraisers, and it's a way to, um, you know, to make things happen. And I think eventually, I hope we get to a point where we um, can take some of that, those revenues and really put it back into activities, of, you know, scholarships, everything that will welcome people and make everything for our older people affordable, for our residents affordable. Kathy? Yeah. I have that question. Do we, because of rental, do we um, 
sort of uh, refuse, but I can't quite think of the right word, um, aging kinds of activities because the books rooms are booked already, you know? Um, that, you know it mostly, the morning, the, the day times mm -hmm. tend to be mostly yeah. older people's right, activities, right. you know? Uh -huh. um, but the night ones are very um, eclectic. Right. And, right. and right. you know, to me, that, that shows a sense of community. And right. it's no. been really getting the, the senior center out there. No. Um, and people are, are really, <coughs> like, this, the winter market, which we'll talk about later, is just exceptional. Yeah. It's, it's like it brings this vibe here, and everybody's talking about it and talking about our building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? yeah. And there's something in the rental agreement that says our programs take precedence. Okay. So it's right. not impeding anything that we're trying to do. Great. Yeah. yeah. Great. And they're very affordable. So again, this is a community right. building, and yeah. we make it a accessible to the community. Right. But we also have a little bit of revenue. Right. Mm -hmm. And I also think it for the, the upcoming <coughs> cohort of people that are aging, <coughs> the positive <coughs> and stuff like you get people in here who wouldn't come and blah blah blah. We also have one thing going that uh, I'm Heather and Victoria believe, and they make the agreements. These people are putting away their own chairs. Okay. Putting the room back to where it was or should be huh? when they're through, and I would you explain it probably because we don't have a nighttime uh, uh, custodian, and they're doing a very good job of that. Okay. Uh, well, the rental right. fees are so reasonable. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And mm -hmm. part of right. keeping it reasonable is not having to have someone mm -hmm. do that extra mm -hmm. work of setting mm -hmm. up the rooms. Yeah. I mean, the Hampshire Corral to right here, and I've worked those nights and. There's 110 members, 110 chairs put out, plus the podium and, and the thing. Mm -hmm. And in about 15 minutes, they have, mm -hmm. people just put them all away. Good. So it works out very well. Then there's another thing that we're really committed on offering um, opportunities, um, employment opportunities with flexibility to a retired community for those that are looking at it. So we have a lot of building monitors now. And, and so it's like kind of this a uh, little bit of uh, play money that people are, are earning. Um, and everybody's loving it. They're, they're liking to be a part of that. So it's a real win-win. I don't see anything really negative. About it at all. Okay. Oh, okay. No, it's me again. Okay, so the coffee shop. Again, um, we um, Linda very nicely put this together. Thank you, Linda. Um, and so she put she highlighted things that we should be paying attention to. So so we we went down our coffee and tea. I got I'm a tea drinker. Um, went down to fifty cents starting in seventeen. So um, so there was a little decrease, but you know again. Um, we're at six thousand dollars now. It's half a year. We'll probably be over what we had in the um, FY sixteen, and, and then we've got a good, we've got a good deal of fifty cent cup of coffee. Right, right. And that's yeah. what would be interesting to see the expenses versus the. You that's know. what I was going to say. It's mm -hmm. to, to tie it all together. What does right. this cost us so that we can see that profit? Mm -hmm. <coughs> this isn't a true profit. We don't have. No. You have to, everybody tell me exactly what you want because we could well, have, that's what we said last time, but it says up here income and expenses. Yeah. So without the expenses, mm -hmm. it's hard to tell. Yeah, the yeah. Line no, we can. Up. I can easily. We can. Right, Linda. Yeah. Right, Linda. I can do this, right, Linda? <laughs> right, 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 Linda. I get it. Yeah. No, yeah, it's fine. I mean, yeah. I, I, I would say from our mind watching it that the wow. expenses are sort of so staying. They, they, yeah. yeah, they kind of stay really, really um, the Ooh. same all the time, but we, it'll be good to do a right. kind of a comparison. Right. Next, um, in February, I have to go in front of, uh, to have our, our budget um, looked at and, and reviewed by our, fi our financial officer in um, the city. So mm -hmm. I'd like to focus in on that in our next meeting, but the following meeting we'll do a little bit of looking at the cost and, and the things, okay? So, all right, no, that's that's fine. So the fitness center, again, half a year, twelve thousand. Um, yeah, yeah, it's. I don't. Mm -hmm. There's only actually one red flag here, and um, I I don't know if I yellowed it, but um, it's the the Chronicle um, hasn't. We haven't had any advertising. Mm -hmm. um, but we're working on that. Um, the first, our first goal of in, in, in is redesign, was redesigning the Chronicle and you know adding a, a sense of professionalism that was kind of missing before. 
Um, the, so the, there are, there's still advertising. I'm not sure where it's going, but um, it's not going in that, that particular um, revenue source. So we're going to be checking in on that. But we have one of our um, tax workoff people, Manny, um, who was a marketing person for uh, the Raleigh bicycle place and Oh well. Anyway, it doesn't matter in Springfield. But anyway, he's um, he's designing a, a really nice marketing um, approach, and um, so I'm hoping that we'll be going a little bit beyond what we were at the beginning of, of 2016. But right now it looks, it looks like, well, why aren't you doing the advertising? But we are. It just has a somehow reached here, so we'll figure that one out. Um, but we'll talk about that when we really do do a little cost analysis. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. And so there's um, so the book sale. We have to again thank you, Linda. Um, we reduced the books for two twenty-five cents from fifty cents because there's a reason. We're not just giving away everything here. But um, the reason is that we had just so many books that we had no storage area, and we just thought, let's get. So we yeah. might be going back to 50 cents. All our wonderful volunteers are saying, 50 cents now, Linda. You know, we got rid of a lot of our books. So we'll, we'll see. But um, it's, again, people are so happy about getting their 25 cent book. So it's, it, it, there, again, there's no cost. There's no cost, but they're all donated. I know. So we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll talk about that. And, you know, if we, um, some of, the, I, I, if I get any more books, I'm, my husband's divorcing me. <laughs> But uh, I'm ready to put it up to 50 cents again. We'll, we'll talk about that in the staff meeting. Um, okay, so our gift shop. Um, okay, you know what? Do you want to talk about the gift shop now, or do you want to wait until? Um, yeah, we'll let's, about let's talk about the gift shop a little bit. And then it's a little broke down. Uh, so we've had the retail committee that's been working on the gift shop and the mini sale and trying to revive the gift shop what we've found in the past year is that we don't feel that the gift shop should be open anymore. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to ask you about that. See you. If you look at what I'm passing out, Mary's mini sale makes more and more money every year. The money that's coming, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> the money that comes in from the mini sale more than replaces the money we are making in the gift shop. It's a buyer. in the gift shop? We have a couple different ideas and we want some feedback. Um, but we've also gotten a lot of feedback that people are trying to clear out their houses. They're not trying to buy more chassis and stuff. They're bringing all their stuff here to sell at the mini sale, which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. They don't want the types of things that are in the gift shop and trying to manage an actual retail store that's at least a part-time job and we don't have someone to do that effectively so there's a lot of reasons we're looking at closing down the gift shop and reworking how we do retail so we want some feedback from you guys mm -hmm. I think about it's a great that. Idea. i do too yeah, the I, space the yeah. way the space you know, what we could be doing with that space is mm -hmm. You yeah, could use that room for meetings. We really need, need space. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. I think that, yeah. not that I'm. Um, no, I think it's true, though. It's true. Yeah, people don't come here to go, you know, fancy shop. Yeah, it's not. You need to come shop. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
as far as building those shelves. And if you took them down, it would be a damn shame. The books would be ideal there. Yep. All you need is a sign, books, and, a, and an arrow. Or more books than here. You know, um, you know actually, if you, if you took some time and really set it up like a bookstore, rather than just books, you know, have somebody go in there and say, at least here's a mystery by author, you know, here's this by that. I mean, I look through a lot of times and it's just ramble, but I would, if I knew I was just going to look at mysteries, I wouldn't just go right there and probably find something. Mm -hmm. but That's a lot of work for somebody to, yeah. to be a librarian. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm, I'm not saying it's easy, yeah. but it would actually actually provide more sales, I would think. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting thing. People find well, things. Yeah. books and cards and, and DVDs and whatever we have. Maybe to certain things, or hardcovers in one. And yeah, that yeah. would I say, you know, the more expensive yeah. book maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But to take those shelves down if you're even oh, thinking no. about it. You just no. make Mary's, Mary's Mini to the spot? It's just make that the spot? Instead of in the middle of the... I don't think so. I think part of the no. success so. of the Mini sale is that there. it's right, right there. there. It's a box. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can't I'm help it. You have to go in somewhere. That's right. And when I have uh, doing building monitor at night, these groups coming in, when they take a break, or when they come in before it's actually starting, yeah. they all wander over to that right. store, uh, yeah. books too. Yeah. And they wander and wander around there and look, I've sold quite a few things there. And I've got uh, Linda now giving me the little pouches so I can make change. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure we should yeah. force the use of it because of the shelves. I'm, I don't know if that's... Could the shelves be we could removed just and move put someplace else, else, not just taken down and... Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, I, I would tails wagging the dog if we did that. We, we could do it in a way we could, um, um, there's, uh, you know what, we just saw all of these beautiful um, memorial plaques for people. I mean, we could, we have some incredible pictures. I mean, we could make it a, a real, a room of significance for, um, for people, because there'll be people using it, whether it's cards or meetings or whatever, um, and that they'll actually see the, the evolution of, of our um, our thing, you know, it could be a um, display we have up here. If yeah, I mean, do you, this room, she's at display. the last time um, the O'Hearns were here for the anniversary, I had them all come and take a picture under the, under there. You know, there's mm -hmm. there's such a um, this this place. I mean, I know when I first came, like the first week month I was here, I, I suggested to Heather we do something like a, a memory wall. And you know, I walked by those those plaques out there, and I knew everybody, and it just means something to me. So maybe that room could be one of those memorial rooms, you know, with our pictures and all of our past. I mean, yeah, it, yeah. to me, that would be more significant than if we put books. Yeah. It, is it, does it's it have more um, libraries? Could the library be moved there? I mean, does it have more shelving than the library? No, the library? no, it's library. It's got library. <laughs> library. library. Yeah. I think I think that the you know you're you're very right. I think that the woodwork is absolutely phenomenal, and we should work around it. Mm -hmm. And we I think we can. We can make it, I mean, everyone loves sitting in the library, and, and they love their meetings in the library and everything, and sort of takes away from it's our library a little library. bit. Yeah. yeah, but it also so uses a... a when it, they're having a card game, yeah. people can still wander in and look at the books, and it doesn't bother them any. So by making putting the books there, it would seem like a second library. Yeah. 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 But making a nice, inviting space, <laughs> use, utilizing that furniture, we could do it mm -hmm. with the right pictures and the right, you know, just for people to have those memories. Mm -hmm. And also try it, and if it's not used, then we can shift it again. I mean, yeah. we're gonna it'll be used. Out of that room. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. we're gonna get the use out of that room. No, it, it will so. be used, People will, and people will notice, just like they notice these pictures. Yeah. It's good not to set things in stone, but right. yeah. trying things. And you might be able to sell, if you wanted to, the um, display case. Oh but yeah, maybe you might yeah. With want the display case, won't be there anymore. Yeah, people. Yeah. Maybe you won't want to. Maybe you find some other place for yeah. that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, is there? A, I guess we're really looking. Is there any really? So you say, I think that that was a very appropriate, important um, thing mm -hmm. that you presented. Is there anything else that are? Are you all in favor of supporting that mm -hmm. move then? Save on the shelves. Okay. Yeah, something. Something. And, and changing, um, and they, you don't mind not having the gift store. Right. Do you, do you oh, yeah. need a motion? 
Mm -hmm. Do you need a motion? Okay. I'll accept that. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, somebody give me a motion on that? To do what? To get, get rid of the gift shop. To get rid of the gift shop. To do what? Close the gift shop as a gift shop. And repurpose it for something it else? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anybody uh, second that one? Yeah, we all second it. <laughs> <laughs> anybody, anybody you want. Uh, any discussion on this? Further. So what will happen to the stuff that's present in there? We will save it. Big maybe. sale. Baby. For the, uh, well, the retail committee will meet again. We just wanted to make sure the board was on board. So we will meet with the retail <coughs> and figure out what to do with the merchandise that's left. Whether that means moving it to the mini sale, saving oh, yeah. it for the craft fair. Yeah. But it won't be just thrown away. Right. No. no, no. Thrown away. That was my discussion. Yeah. No. 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 That's no. definitely not on the cards. No. It's repurposing the room, not storing it. <laughs> uh, that's the motion, which is to close the gift shop and repurpose the room. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Motion passed. Okay. And the uh, retail yes. committee will get back to us with their Let me um, just yep. finish this, the last of the, <coughs> of the income. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'm just saying, look at the last, the last page and um, so from 16 to 17, it went up a little, but right now we're at 97,000 and it's only halfway there. So uh, there's no, and we haven't done our annual repeat appeal or, you know, there's some big significant um, income that should be coming in. So anyway, it's looking good. I mean, we might, uh, the way it looks now will at least increase our income, our revenues about at least 25%. Oh, with a lot of work from friends. Yeah. And by the way, uh, we have uh, just received the last First check from the gala, the gala, from one of the uh, from uh, Care One. Finally paid their five hundred dollars for the table. That's the last bit of income from the gala has come in, so that's complete. And that's not even included in this because it's part of Elder Vision. That's right. So you know we would have actually been over a hundred thousand right now if we if we was in this revenue source. Anyway, everybody's been working so hard, and it's very exciting about the, the changes. And yeah. Okay. And also, Elder Vision, which has some money in it, and we've been looking at proposals for things we can do with that money, because we're all going to sit in the bank and just you know, draw no interest. Uh, one thing we've already done is uh, Linda's uh, suggestion, I guess someone suggested it to her, was to buy new monitors, large monitors for the computer room. 20, I think 22 or 23 inch monitors. Mm -hmm. uh, I think what was it the you know, several services that does the computer? Yeah, exactly. Suggested he said small monitors, but you've got people here with the older eyes, mm -hmm. bigger monitors, you get bigger letters out of it. So okay. we can, okay. Elder Vision paid that, it's a little over $700 for mm -hmm. so all new monitors in there. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things we've done. And we're still looking for other ideas, if you have any, for improvements we can make around here that come under the regular budget or the city is not going to pick up the tab for. Watch out, I can see you smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, can we really fix the, the uh, machines where you come in and show your card? I mean, it's been I broken. I just emailed my senior center yesterday about the one on the desk. Mm -hmm. Somebody suggested that they might, we might need new um, apparatuses, the uh, new computer systems. And um, but maybe uh, you know, I they will come up here, won't they, and check it out? Yeah, because I think that's what we need to. It's it is frustrating. Yeah. It is. Let's let's make it if we need to buy new monitors, we'll buy new monitors. But we we should probably have the experts on my senior center. I mean, we, it's it's worth us to have them as a consultant for a couple hours for all of us yeah. as a kind of a training. And I know that they don't do that that often, and there's a little cost to it. But I think we all need that. Mm -hmm. You agree? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's the consultant? Um, they they created my senior center. It's a private business. Thing. It's a, yeah. It's a. I don't it's know. All over the country. I yeah. they call my yeah. senior center. <laughs> Barbara? Yeah, it's a soft um, As long as we're talking money, we need a new rug. <laughs> are the rugs? Yes. The rugs are awful. Okay. Or the rug is Which awful. Okay. We Which need a new that? rug. And that floor in the yeah. tap it's a, needs yeah. reserve. Yeah. You know, it needs but, work. You know, I think we're, we're going to go in a different direction for that. Um, the person who 
um, came around, um, who's sort of in charge of all the buildings, um, mm -hmm. kind of, uh, he, he has this, this, this list of things that really need to be addressed here. And, um, and he, he suggested, because I brought him over to look at the, the floor and everything, and then he suggested, because capital improvements, we can put a capital improvement um, uh, proposal together, um, but it has to be kind of significant. But I think we can make it significant with new rugs and a, a replacement floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was replace the floor you don't have to replace well, it, just resurface. So that's not general improvement, that's just maintenance. Yeah, but he said he was saying things about that and he I think capital improvement has a minimum yeah. I think it's like twenty five thousand. There's a minimum for to call it a capital improvement. Yeah, so but we he thinks we can reach it because and he gave me a list of things. So maybe at our next meeting I might be able to give you a list that we can look at. Mm -hmm. Um and that it would be just as it would be nice to let the city do it. You know? Thanks. Mm. No question. Yeah. If they'll do yeah. it. Yeah. <coughs> no, he was, he was, it's 10 years. He said it is 10 years. Okay. Yeah. And we didn't have really too much to work with when he picked that out. Mm, no. It's worked. Yeah. No. So it, it's been discussed. And so we can all look around yourselves and, you know, think of the other things, the rugs. You know, I, I think. I think the furniture, I don't know about the city doing that. I think that might be what we would do, Elder Vision, but um, we'll, I'll, I'll get a mm -hmm. clarification on that. It's good to look into it anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone told me they thought there were termites in the floor. Termites in the floor? Oh, please. The activity room. No, there, no, there's tap dancers on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> that was what I actually responded saying. That said, and the person said, no, it's termites. Um, so I I don't know anything about this. Termites don't eat the surface. The exactly. Yeah. 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 But we have around the through. We have around, around the building. As you're going through, right. you see the yeah. damage. The yeah. Yeah. yeah, it'd be around the outside of the building. No, <laughs> I, I no, they they wouldn't do this. No. Anyway, but you know what? You, you, I will go and check them out. I'm, I'm really good at looking at termites. But I, I don't Are think it's really? the case. I do. I've seen them. Oh, that wasn't on your resume. I know. I should put it. Working out in the fitness center, I noticed that there are cracks in the wall. Like that sounds like it could be something that could go in, like yeah, you know, that just could be repaired. Not yeah, you know. Yeah. Because I, have, I stand there all the yeah. time and I look around, but, but they can also the check the foundation to make sure it's not settling in some yeah. places. Not yeah. being yeah. settled. Might be on yeah. this list. As a, you know, as a yeah, there's a good one up here in the corner. Yeah. yeah. All things considered, after ten years, this is in really good shape. Yeah. But I mean, you adding know. that to yeah. make it yeah. no, no, more money, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He didn't think we'd have a problem getting to that. But I think it might be 10, though. Yeah. I don't know either. But if they yeah. consider this whole building as one, yeah, then no. they didn't yeah. get to that. Yeah. You, you know, throw floors and, and, and yeah, you could throw it anyway. Yeah. yeah. And everything else. Yeah, and then he also suggested there's a few places that the tiles don't match. And, right. You yeah, know. Here. Yeah. Don't yeah. all that into one room yeah. as a capital expense. Then, yeah. 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 And, and he, it's on their radar. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. I think an important problem is keeping it clean. Okay. Can I? T can I? I got to tell you about Eduardo. Okay. He's great. We we He's actually lovely. have a person 20 hours a week. He's a senior aide, so it doesn't come out of our budget. And um, he's from Miami, who's, and he's um, a, f a friend of our, our new um, outreach coordinator, uh -huh. yeah. um, Carmen. And um, he's here for 20 hours, and Bob is ecstatic. Uh -huh. So you, at this, give, her, give him maybe one more week, you're not gonna see anything, any issues. There won't be dust in the, the fitness room. You know, there's all these little things that people have been complaining about, including the staff bathroom, but we won't go into that. But um, hopefully all of those things. He is so dedicated and Bob is, Bob's happy. So, you know, as soon as you see the one thing that you really want to talk to me about that's not being addressed, let me know right away. It can be on his plate. Mm -hmm. He's it's a very large building for one custodian to take care of. Especially yeah. since he doesn't work here full time. Yeah. He does small, he does some work at central services some days. Part of the day, Bob. Yes. No, he's great. Anyone? Yeah. Okay. We met him on Tuesday. Yeah. 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 It's all here. Nice. But, but it's still, it's a big building for one person. Yeah, and we've just increased our own staff. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and you know, anyway, it's a, a lot going on. So he's very happy, everybody, and Eduardo really needed the revenue, so we've got him for four years. Oh, good. Unless we hire him, which is the goal of this program, so we'll see what happens. Okay, uh, any other questions, uh, comments on the revolving accounts? Okay, let's move on now to the proposal submitted by Marlene Morocco. Okay, so this is obviously not a new proposal, it's not a new idea, it's not a new... Um, I'm working, as you know, at the state level on the seniors, um, and it's moving really quickly that senior centers are getting away from being called senior centers. It kind of started a few years ago and people didn't really adapt to it and they were slower. Now it's really going fast. Can I ask you a question? Yep. What does the research show in terms of uh, accept, not just acceptance, but understanding and confusion? The research, the, yeah, the research is showing as well as all the Forbes magazine has done articles, all the major, they've all done it saying that mm -hmm. um, we are trying to get the um, baby boomers in, right. the 55 to 70 year olds. Mm -hmm. And the fact is the 55 to 70 year olds will not come to a facility called a senior center. They're just not doing it. So as they've changed, um, mm -hmm. to either Center for Active li Adults, or, I mean, there's a lot of different names, I just threw out one, but there's a lot of different ones. More and more baby boomers are now going to them. They're joining because they're seeing, they're going to the tours, they're seeing the gyms, they're seeing all the classes, they're seeing that they're not, people are sitting around knitting and crocheting, they're actually active. Um, and the membership is going up and up, and the money's going up because people are paying more, and you know, so the income goes up, but there's been a sweep across the country saying that it really does make a difference. Do they have issues? I mean, my fear is in terms of not everybody's active. You know, we have fragile mm -hmm. elders and people that like to knit. But nobody likes to think like of that. that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they, would, they, 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 but they, but they would self, I, I don't know, and I'm just. I'm right, they would self qualify. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They think, well, is this. And again, the research has shown that even people in their 90s mm -hmm. don't want to think of themselves as old. They want to, even if they do, they're not active, you know, they just walk around the block or they just, they want to think of themselves as active. I know my mother's going to be 92 and she won't go to the senior center because it's all old people. It's like, hey, you're 120 years old, what the hell do you think you're going to do? You know, and it just in here and I brought her, whatever it was, over the Christmas break and she, she said, oh my God, our senior center is nothing like this, nothing like this. Who is this? She, my, my mom, my 92-year-old mother was like, I would come here. Yep. And it's been you know, shown across the country, we talk about research, that they want to think of themselves as an active adult. They don't want to think of themselves as getting old. Well, we I, on the other hand, wake up every morning feeling old, yeah. but that's a whole other thing. Well, we changed the name of our newspaper from Elder Vision exactly. simply because we took a survey and a surprising number of seniors don't like the word elder. They don't like elder, they don't like senior, and they don't like liking seniors. So I don't know where we go from here. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I just wanted to bring it to the board first. And if, if people are, are willing to at least research it, I'm happy to get a few people together, whatever, to see how we do it. Because I don't even, I don't know how we do it. Well, I don't know. The mayor, I believe, is the only one that can change it. I don't know. I don't know if the he mayor, change, I don't know yeah, if the council. name already. The charter says he can change the name. It of the does? Department. Okay, that's where I am. Well, I think we, we should, should give this, um, the idea that now people are coming in my age. I'm one of those baby boomers. They're coming in to, to get their vegetables. Mm -hmm. I think that we should give it a, a shot that they're going to see that this place, those people are coming in now more, and, and we have a, I don't really agree with changing the name. That's, I guess that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I think that we should let this, how, how much we're using the center right now affect who's coming in. So I, I just got the sign. Of, again, active adults, that kind of way, <coughs> inactive adults, the ones that do want to just yeah. come in. Yeah. I mean, again, this is what the research shows. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's well, not, I mean, this is not, in my opinion, this is what I think is happening all across the state. I think we want to avoid the trap that these stamping get into by renaming theirs Enrichment Center. Which says nothing. No, that doesn't. You've got to have adults in there so yeah. people don't go with their if kids. If they had said senior enrichment center, I right. would have any No, it's got to say adults. But it's just enrichment center. It could be anybody. Yes, Dr. Right. Well, I don't know if, if we had a survey of senior centers or uh, <laughs> places that uh, function as senior centers <coughs> across the state would be interesting to know what everybody is called. Oh, yeah. We did and that. 
we, and it could be we did that. You can do that online. We can do it again, but yeah. we've done that two or three times. Mm -hmm. But if you haven't done it lately, because it's happened in the last, last 12 to 18 yeah. months, it's, oh, it's huge. Yeah. We haven't done it since then. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. been mm -hmm. happening. Three like years ago, was in it. Now it's... I'd like to know if, if, it's, yeah. if it's overwhelmingly, if it's 75% senior centers, what do you see everywhere? I mean, I, don't, I have no idea. Yeah. I can tell you, you can just Google, you can just seriously go in and just Google some change, name changes, and it will come up with lists of senior centers that are changing their names. So you so it's, down, it's down the cake. This is the already all doing it. Okay. Okay. Well, they're all doing it. All right. Um, they, and let's face it, the cake is all old. But, you know, yeah. I mean, and they're all doing it because they do not want senior in the new do you have any direct, any, any sort of literature from your, um, this, what's the aging group that you're on, the state, wide aging group you said? The, uh, the state, state, the Commonwealth State. We, we just started, we just started. Are, I mean, what is it, under EOEA? No, it's the, it's the governor's. The governor's staff. Oh, it's like brand a commission new, on aging? Yeah, it's a commission on aging. Okay. It's a brand new. I just put in senior center name change in Massachusetts and got 82 hits. Well, there's 360 cities and towns in Where Massachusetts. Are they? I know we feel comfortable too with the with yeah. the way it is. I know that. But What's I the name? personally like oh. getting on the bandwagon of, of starting something new, <laughs> and especially, you know, if we could be a, a four leader mm -hmm. on this, who knows then what East Hampton might do or Hadley may do. And especially if Hadley get ready to build. A new scene. They're already talking about it. Western Mass already, mm -hmm. we've already had um, they hate it. people come to the state saying, what, what are we so going to do to change our name? Thing, what is it? I also like it's getting on the bigger right. right. I'll tell you, one of my fears, is, this, mm -hmm. is, this is my own personal mm -hmm. thing, one of my fears is because I hear what's going on in the state, mm -hmm. that we're going to be behind the, we're going to be behind instead of in front. Because I know in Western Mass, Hadley, South Hadley, East Hampton, oh. um, uh, I think where I think I can't remember. There's like a dozen cities and towns already putting in for it to change the name. Mm -hmm. So I just I don't want to see us get, you know, six months from now we're going to be like, what do you mean they're still called the senior center? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm afraid of. Well, you and know, I don't. Yeah. Well, there's no nothing wrong with not being the very first one either, being the right. 21st one. But uh, again, I guess I like being with. <laughs> but I also do think that it might be interesting because we're working right now, um, I understand, on this whole designation of an age-friendly city. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how that is reflect, you know, what the reflection on that is and how that's, you know, that, that whole statewide initiative looks at all of that yep. stuff, too. So that might be part and parcel with this, this whole, maybe as part of that initiative. So we'll do some homework. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, I mean, again, I don't know where it goes from here. It's just mm -hmm. something I want to put on the table and say. Well, I think somebody would probably have to say something to the mayor that this is something that's being mm -hmm. contemplated. Mm -hmm. What kind of guidelines are there? Are are we restricted by anything? Well, that's, that's and right. then he could put if, the I washed I'm pretty if, sure the new charter <laughs> it says the mayor can name any department whatever he wants. But also, if he didn't want to change, he can probably say no. Oh, yes. So, it's, it's up the to so we can always override them. I guess my we thinking be is we tomorrow. talk about it here, and if everybody says let's at least investigate it yeah. further, I'm happy to take that on or work with somebody, you know, mm -hmm. and take it on and see what we do from there. We know. did a, we did a, you and I did. We didn't we count the names and we dug it up and we had everybody and his brother and cousins and uncles and everybody else came in and put suggestions. 97% of them were just so ridiculous mm -hmm. that we put it away. And the other 3%, we never did come up with anything yeah. that really, really worked for what we wanted. Right, right. The other thing too is, do we want to make the senior center be too small? You know, that's the other thing I'm thinking. If you're calling all these people in, when we are actually growing by what Linda just gave us, um, you know, are we are we defeating the purpose of the big senior center? It's going to be much smaller if, you know, people. I mean, I trust yeah, that like people are going to come. I don't. I, I don't really think people have a problem with <coughs> the senior center. I think a lot of people are proud to be old and retired, and they want to get involved. So that's sort of my outlook. But you know, if we don't want to make this building obsolete so fast when we're already growing. You know, I, I think we should look at, at the growth, too, in this, if we're going to think about changing the and The other question is, the if we do change the is name, are these people who are not coming in because they don't want to be old, are they going to come in anyway? Yeah. 
No matter what you change the name to, is that going to change their minds? It wouldn't matter. Or, or if somebody's she looking she for them. She would have a lot of going to have lunch and said, I'm not going down there again. Why? There's a number of old people there. And they said, well, you're well, that's why you years old. What do you think you are? That's why they want to shift people 55 to 70. They're trying to get the yeah. 55 to 70 year olds in here so that when other people come in, they don't see all old but, people. But they would the name change bring 50, them in? 60. That's the thing I'm thinking of. Would, would the, is that the thing that's going to bring them in? Don't know. No. Yeah. Those people, they're active. John? Do I got a couple of comments just to throw out. First of all, I don't think the term, and again, I, I, I would like to investigate a name change, and I know we've done it a hundred times. Um, I don't think the word senior con uh, connotates um, old, feebleness, sickness. Senior is a chronological age. Yes. Yeah. It's a chronological age. I'm 63, I'm a senior. Somebody's 72, they're a senior. That doesn't mean we're old and, you know, I'm digging my grave already, you know, yeah. I'm inactive. But I do know people think that way. Mm -hmm. So we gotta maybe change the perception of the thought process as opposed to the name. Yeah. Now, if That's we do big, change yeah. that, and it, I, think, I, I don't, know how, big and big I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And the second way and thing is, you know, what would we change it to in your suggestion of adult? To me, adult, my son's 38, he's an adult. Yeah. My daughter's 35, she's well, an adult. Well, that was just a, that was just Yeah, I understand, I understand. Yeah. I just want yeah. people but, to say that that yeah. term, yeah. that term mm. is not, we gotta get some, it's I don't know, we need a term, term that kind well, you of can also do brings in the age factor without having people look at it as, what I'm saying, oh. a bad thing. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, Forbes answered that. There was an article in Forbes magazine, and they answered that, and they said, exactly what you said adults start at what 21 22 so what does that mean and they said well if you look at what's going across the country and across the country are adult communities being built and people when you hear an adult community you know it's 55 and over mm -hmm. they get it they just get it that's accepted across well, the country so that. i'm like okay I, I, again i'm this isn't me this is what i'm reading well, i would just say you, using the word adult just go adult 55 plus just well, well you can say under 55 and over or uh, after adult over 50. Adult, you know How about positive aging Okay. Again, yeah. where where's the cutoff? Where does it begin? But where you can, does it you end? can identify that, John. You can say under it a 55 and over community or 55 and over whatever whatever you want. Uh, to do. That would be okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would be put okay. a subtitle under it because if you okay. have a, a, a center for active adults, a 55 and over, fill in the blank. I guess part of part of my back of my mind. People won't remember it. I don't want <laughs> us to becoming a community center for the community at large yeah. as no, no, no. opposed it's still 55 to see, well, well yeah, yeah and i yeah. want that i i don't you know that clear things yes. that are happening yeah, that it seems like we're slowly getting that way and i want to keep away from that we have been he and i have been fighting for perhaps five years to keep this not a community center because there has been a lot of things to try to make it in the community yes. center yes. We yes. Have, we indirectly have, or directly yeah. indirectly or directly and we have beat them up numerous times and they're still out there we're still yeah. us and they don't jump on anything they can get to that's this. Maybe, right. uh, yeah, you gotta be careful and i'm there. not sure it's worth going down this road if the majority of the board isn't on board which is so i mean if the majority yeah, of the board if they're not then yeah, i don't think it's worth going down this road. Road. it yeah. is a lot of work yeah. done because we've done it's it. a lot of work it's a lot of work yeah mm -hmm. but like you say it's been five six years Oh, yeah. Time changes. Yeah. This is yeah, the last. This is the last 12 to 18 months. Yeah. It's like a wave. I'm not the one to say we tried it. It didn't work, so we're not going to try yeah. it again. I do admit I see a lot more. I don't know. I don't know the phrases. Younger seniors coming in. Yeah. Us using the physical <laughs> fitness center. Yeah. Uh, I, I I look around on our trips, trips and travel. Although it's not yeah. geared specifically to just seniors, I see a lot of people within. Mm. I would say let's say the late 50s, early 60s. When I first looked into becoming a senior, becoming a senior center, <laughs> becoming a senior center, yeah, using the senior center, I was like 54. People looked at, well, you got to be 60. Um, I think 60, 60, 60, 60. 65. All of a sudden, it came down to 55, and I was happy. Yeah. I wasn't ashamed. Yeah. I wasn't saying, oh, my God, I'm over to hell. I, I like it. I like the people here. I like what's going on. And I feel that I'm within the baby boomers if you will. Yep. And, but my again, that's my outlook. I see this thing. Well, people my don't. Won't come near yeah, my, my, my baby boomer friends won't come here. Yeah. 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 And I can, I can see that too. Because it's called the Senior Center? Yeah. Really. And when they know I'm on the board, they, I get such a hard time. 
I can't even begin to tell you yeah. how time I get. Yeah. <laughs> but I, again, that's yeah. just, you know, you can't, you know. It's just age. I can't go by one. Frankly, it's a fact of life. You're going to either make it or not. Everyone doesn't want to make it with all people. Oh, bullshit. And they want to know more about why I'm active. So, you know, Could we uh, uh, cut this discussion off? We don't have enough time to go forever. Well, but, I think uh, we should go and read this proposal over, and next time we come in, have some ideas on this, and, and what you think about it. Because just, we just heard about this, so let's think it over for a month and come back next month. We're not in a great hurry for this. No, no, no. But it's, it's something to no, consider. I, think it's good to look well, I, I guess I'd say, why do we have to wait the month? Maybe we could just take a vote to find out how many of us uh, think, what, what do they think about this, about the possibility of changing? I don't think about it yet, because I, I just, just saw it. Yeah, what she's saying is, so, is, do we put well, the effort I'm, in to, to decide what we're going to do? Yeah. I'm not going to think oh. about it until the mayor says what he's going to do, because I have too much to do with my time. Yeah. And, okay, so I'd rather the mayor make the decision. Why should we waste our time? So you, want to know you, know the you want to know if it's even on the table, if the mayor yeah. would yes. even yes. before we go forward. I'll do that, okay. okay. The other thing yeah. I thought the maybe it might be interesting is, is um, maybe turn. we could invite, um, um, like turn. maybe Kathy Bowler from the Mass Council on Aging. Yeah. And she, she lives, um, she, she right works in East Hampton and she might give us an idea of what right. other senior centers are doing because she right. knows right. them all. Yeah. Oh. That's right. And give us a, a yeah. heads up on what the movement is. Yeah. It's right. interesting because uh, there's a, I, one of the MCOA, um, I, don't know, I won't go on and on, um, newsletters, but there's something here from the Cape Cod Times from 2017, September, looking again at senior centers and, you know, it, it's, it it's has to do with ageism and public, publicizing, you know, what's that? Yeah. 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 About it. I guess I'd be interested to see, only because we know that Kathy is in the process of building a brand yeah. new one, what do they think they're going to do? about yeah. naming their structure. They don't even want it. Okay. Yeah, what do they want it big time? I know a lot of them don't want it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's so, because they're so all the different. You would ask that woman to come in, and then secondly, if you would ask the man, and if you don't, I, I'm happy to do it. If you, you know, if you don't want to do it, it's you know, old stuff. About whether it's just a possibility to well, talk about it. I think it might be. I really think there might be stronger if you asked him. Okay. So I'll do the mayor, the board, and you do that yeah. woman. Yeah. And I'll do Kathy Bowler. Okay. He, right. My sense is he probably would say bring it back to the COA. Yeah. That's my sense. Oh, well, well, but at least we'll know about the, the legal steps. Exactly. If he it's just says, well, I don't want to do exactly. that, exactly. then right. you say, well, don't point to him anything because yeah. he okay. can't move if he doesn't want to. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing to consult with him. Right. What okay, about that guy that comes in once in a while and talks to us about Emmett? Emmett. Would he be yeah. somebody to call? Uh, I don't think he's going to come down from um, from nice. Boston. But Kathy is, you know, she's she's uh, like the assistant director of all the Council on Aging in Massachusetts. Okay. So and she she works her office is East Hampton. Okay. So that's. She but Emma would be well, wonderful, and he yeah. would be. But so will Kathy. All right. Because she's okay. been. Okay. Well, let's get let's get back on track here. We're getting a little little long in this one. But thank you, Marlene, for bringing it up. And I think there's a lot of interest here going here. Uh, special we announcement. Okay. I believe that's uh, Desmond, right? Yeah. Um, well, as okay. Hey. As as of March 30th, I'm going to be retiring. Oh boy. Good for and you. Good for you. And I um, I, um, I had to make that decision. There was a couple of. Uh, um, health issues that kind of made, gave me an aha. They weren't, they're not bad or anything, but it was like the first time ever in my 68 years that I actually, you know, realized that, you know, maybe I want to do things for myself. And um, this is a very, a very demanding job. You know, I think if it truly, if the job was just the Council on Aging, I mean, the senior center or whatever we're going to be, um, I, I, it would be different. But I also have to do the um, Disability Commission, and then you also have to do the tax work off program. So, you know, you never really work 35 hours a week. No. But it, they're all wonderful jobs and they're all, ch but they're not necessarily the type I, um, I just, you know, I'm, I don't want to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning anymore. I've been doing that for 50 years now. But um, I just, you know, I, I have, the mayor knows, and it's going to be, um, I think it's going to be publicized either tomorrow or the next day. And so he'll start the process. Um, and he was very happy with the other the process last time, and it'll be the same. And you know, hopefully, mm -hmm. people um, 
with the in-house will be applying and you know keep our fingers crossed that the, the the right candidate is selected and I do want to apologize for not being here long enough but I was given goals when I took the job and I met all of those goals and, um, and not by myself by by the tremendous staff that I have but we work together so that the transportation is started you know and I'm not even going to take any responsibility for the bistro that's all her but it's but it's a uh, accommodation, uh, uh, accumulation of a lot of successes from a lot of people working well together, including the board. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it's been a, an incredible pleasure, and um, I'm st I'm going to be here. I'm I'm a senior baby, and I'm I'm going to be on those stuff. And I've I've been so um, uh, kind of jealous in a way because oh, I really want to take Tai Chi, but I got this grant to write. Oh, I really want to do my 10 hours at the fitness center. So I'm going to be there. And um, you know, and I'm also hopefully, it, depending on who the new director is, um, I still want to be taking a very strong leadership role in dementia friendly and age friendly communities mm -hmm. from the World Health Organization. So, and I want to keep EARN going because I really believe in the um, um, uh, employment after retirement network and things are really thing. And anywhere else I can help, I will uh, definitely be a part of that. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. Wow. I, I, I think the board, done, think the board can thank you very yeah. much yeah. for all yeah. your service so far. And thank you. I'm almost ready to try. So let's. Okay. Yeah. 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 Do you get to pick your successor? Uh -uh. No, I actually, I actually ask not to be involved in that. I just do not. I mean, there. It's because I mean, you know, I just see a lot of valuable people, and you know, I, I wanted to be totally non-biased and. Just, and I, but I've already told people that I will write references and support them in that way, but you know, not being part of the process. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, uh, now we're going to move on to old business because that was definitely new business. Uh, update on Mary's Bistro. Uh, anything else? That's what she can talk oh. while I calm down. <laughs> um, things are going very well in the Bistro. I think a bunch of you actually had lunch there today and enjoyed it. We are going to be on Mass Appeal on January 23rd. Mm -hmm. um, so they'll do a feature about us and let people know that it's open to the public. So mm -hmm. we want to do a little bit more marketing. Mm -hmm. the numbers are really good and we're actually making money now. So it's all positive stuff. But the guys sound like they're ready to be a little busier. And it's Ooh. just another way to get people into the building to let them know what a senior center is. And it's not a place to be scared mm -hmm. of. Um, on how many people, roughly, I like 25, 30 a day? Between 25, even up to 40 a day. Yeah. yeah. It was very quiet right after Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then <clears> there was one day it was a little bit snowy or something. Well, the cold snap didn't do it anymore. How do they prepare for the difference between 25 and 40? I mean, wow, but they do it, huh? Same as right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. do it. Yeah. Tuesday, we kind of get everything ready and guess for Thursday, and sometimes, like today, they're going, oh, there's only enough for one more chicken salad. Well, when we run out, we run out. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that happens in a restaurant, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but we haven't run out very much. And that was the problem with the first beast show. We did run out of food. All the time. Oh, yeah, really? yeah, I, I served in there, oh, and we didn't, didn't we didn't go through one whole session without running out of at least our special right. and at least wow. something yeah, else. Right. And, and the interesting thing was if it was the chicken and cranberry, hmm. yeah. 15 minutes and it was gone. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was gone no time. I mean, it was like consistently 15 minutes and it was gone. That's when I had to ask for a cake, because what made it a chicken, yeah. Cape Cod chicken. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I was told cranberry sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was good. Right. Yeah, so, no, this is good. And uh, I haven't run out of anything yet. I think there was one day we were something. Yeah. But we planned for some okay. soup for 30 or so. Yeah. Who goes out to buy all the supplies? Right now, me. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're working on getting accounts set up with Big Y and Stop and Shop. Rose has been helping me with that so that we can send other people to do some of that. Mm -hmm. So you st that's staying local. It's not like going to Costco. Or Restaurant oh, Depot, maybe once a month, once or twice a month, just because the prices are so much better. But when I do that one, I get like six jars of pickles and 18 bags of chips. So yeah. anything that's it's not going to go possible. bad, yeah. you just stock up on that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Big Good. boxes of chicken. Yeah. Excellent. 
<laughs> okay, uh, any questions on the bistro? Or comments? It's great. That pulls you out of the office, though. I really like that, though. Okay, oh, it all right. It changes things. Yeah, okay. It's, I'm really, I feel okay. selfish, but I'm having a lot of fun. Good. So Susan, you're keeping my Susan out of the house for two days. Well, that's a nice thing. We have these wonderful volunteers, and everyone, we're making new friends, and people sit and have lunch, and it's just really, oh, nice. it's really cool. And she's honing her waitress skills from time to time. I'm not losing those, just in case. <laughs> just in case. And it's getting a lot of notoriety. I just got a call today from the Massachusetts um, Municipal Association and they want to highlight it in their Beacon magazine. And oh, we need to call them. I, I sent you the information. And um, so it's, they think it's great. So there's that, yeah, there's that real, the social impact is pretty impressive. Yeah, but I've talked to was very impressed by the fact that we're having the inmates that's we're right. getting ready yeah. for release. It's yeah. a win-win yeah. situation all around. around. And he said, oh, that's a fantastic idea. And so they're great. Cool. Never heard of it. Oh, they love it. Like, they had a new does, person down yeah. today, and I guess it's sort of like people want to come down here. Yeah. Well, you'll never run out of help. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yes. Oh, yes, they will. Yes, they will. <laughs> now, I mean, do, um, in terms of like marketing for uh, like Uptown or with a beat, the business and group. Do people are they are we on the list of restaurants and stuff to go to and restaurant list and stuff like that? Probably I mean, not. So yeah, I don't not know yet. If there's but something yeah. we can do. Right. Maybe maybe with the, the chamber, chamber or something should know about us. Yeah. I mean, that's Actually, the kind maybe of maybe Mark is in here, but Mark could maybe help mm -hmm. with some ideas for that. Yeah. But I think we're ready now. We vaguely know what we're doing okay. and I have a, a wonderful new volunteer from he actually has worked at the tunnel bar for a number of years so he's interested strictly in like admin work he doesn't baseball. want a front facing so volunteer the tunnel bar. so he wants to help with inventory and pricing mm -hmm. and stocking <coughs> and stuff so. <coughs> have we had any more complaints about the price that we're charging I know when we first opened so. we had a little Everybody's okay with it now? It seems okay. <coughs> that guy out of Mass Appeal, the one guy that when we first opened up in the paper, yeah. called him Michael Price. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the first day. Oh, yeah. That was the first day. Are we are going to put yeah, out probably. a little um, suggestion box. Which oh, good boy. Yeah, yeah. Open yeah. the tree and worms. Yeah. Yeah. Go right over a waste basket. <laughs> 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 right on top of the waste basket. Right on top of the waste basket. Maybe there should be two. One should say positive suggestions. <laughs> Other. Yeah, <laughs> right. Somebody told me a long time ago, don't put a suggestion box unless you're willing to read this, you know, yeah. and entertain the suggestions. It's that, important yeah. to know what people yeah. are thinking, even if it's painful sometimes <laughs> to yeah, hear. Well, most of the people will tell you. That's right. Yes, I've noticed people are not shy. <laughs> <laughs> Especially elders. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, can we move on now to uh, I, can I make a, ask a question? Oh, one question, yes. The Chamber of Commerce came up. Do we have a member from the senior center on the Chamber of Commerce? No, not as far as we're a know. city. We're a city employee. Right. Well, I mean, we're a city department, so the city doesn't have anybody on the chamber. No. No city departments sit on the Chamber of Commerce. Okay. We're well, not a business. Can we have an elder vision person on that, you suppose? Probably. Because because it's, it's not a city. It's a and the reason and the reason I'm asking this is because in a little bit of research with the Elks. I can get an awful lot of advertising through Chamber of Commerce. Mm. And I think, I'm, try, I'm trying to convince the Chamber to allow the Elks and us to have a sort of a non-voting membership, and yet we can still go and do things, but listen and add to stuff, and, and I'm still trying to figure that out. But, but we don't have anything set yet at all. Yeah. And in fact, because we are a city, we can't be. But if we go to Elder Vision and go through Elder Vision, uh, it's a yeah, non-profit. It's a non-profit. So non-profit. We yeah. might be able to slip in there. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a question you can ask. Good question. Ask Suzanne. See if she'll. Mm -hmm. Yep. She'll know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Speaking about Elder Vision, that's our next uh, subject. Yeah. What's going on? There? Is that me or you? That's you. It's me. That's okay. Now, <laughs> uh, Elder Vision is uh, like I say. We just received our last and final gala uh, money mm -hmm. came in. Uh, pretty confusing because they the check said it was uh, from Calvin Coolidge nursing home. <laughs> so evidently they haven't changed their name on their check. They just changed the name on the door. But uh, we're we're doing well. We've got about 
Twenty-seven thousand dollars in in our funds, and that's why we're looking for some projects to do. Uh, projects that are not included with the city. I mean, we don't want to, you know, now obviously spend the money where the city should be spending it, but uh, other things. Let's say the uh, monitors we paid for that. That was no problem. Now we paid for little things here and there, but uh, so we're doing well. Uh, uh, so far, so good. Yes, I have a question. I know some of the Arts Council and the are uh, we have a not for profit wing of ourselves, but we've actually looked in and have have some money in a high yielding interest account in terms of you know in terms of keeping the making. Yeah. Work. I know you say you don't and stuff like that, but you know we do have some money that is set aside for yeah. easy to access. But then there's some money in, in another account. Which is, well, when I took over the treasurership uh, a little a year a year and a half ago, we had our mess. Everybody get out of it. Uh, we had about eight or ten thousand dollars in there, so uh, it really was on the uh, and, and that had been going for years with just a small amount of money. The last year, year and a half, a lot of money has flowed into it, yeah. So that would be something to look into, yeah. Uh, something where you, something that is you can get the money out of fairly reasonable. Well, having a, a part of the money that's what we have in there, yeah. Part of the money to easy access quick access, yeah. but then there's a part of it that's set aside in, in, in being, you know, trying yeah. to make a little bit Well, I have been, I have been in that account, but the darn interest on that thing is pitiful, so mm. I would suggest that. That I can, I can get out as much as I want, but I, I can't, uh, you know, I do it right three checks a month or something like that. Yeah, I'll, uh, it's a good thing to look into. Yes. Talk to Brian about it. I would put it in, I would put it in the ideal checking. There you go. Yeah. And we had enough. Yeah. You gotta have twenty thousand to put in a high yield checking account. Check account. Yeah, we can write a check off, and they just keep on. Yeah, it's not as high. It's not as high as as in a uh, CD. CD, or, CD yeah. but it's half a percent lower than a CD. Yeah. But a CD fixes you for a period of time. That's it. So this is an open one. But this is an open one. Yeah, yeah we'll talk about that in the meeting. Today. Yeah, we'll. I have all. I have all the numbers on that for you. Okay, good. Uh, and as I say, otherwise, uh, Livers is doing well. We don't have any income from the newspaper anymore, or we don't have any income from uh, the trips and travel. But we are using our trips and travel account to funnel the money that is being collected into it and out of it. Uh, for example, uh, John's wife Barbara ran a, uh, I think it was a, the uh, Bermuda, New York. Or in oh. the New York uh, in the Bermuda Cruise, yeah, and so she was collecting money over a period of time. So she'd give me half a dozen checks, another half a dozen checks. And what we're doing is we're putting all those in. Then when we're ready, I write one check to the travel agent and pay it out. And I know, I know, you know why you do that. It yeah. depends upon the travel agency. Yeah. Yeah. Some of our travel agencies will take everybody's check. Yeah. The other travel agencies no. will not take everybody's, and we have to have one check. Yeah. That's so it's a, it, we use it as a convenience, and so that's yeah. it. Trips and travel. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. Just a it has about four hundred dollars that was left in there from the time past. And I'm trying to keep that amount in because occasionally uh, Francine wanted me to pay something in advance before she had the money. Mm -hmm. she, had to, she had to pay the bus company, had to deposit yeah. for the bus company. Yeah. And so I was able to do that with that couple yeah. hundred dollars yeah. just sitting there. So it's kind of a little slush fund that keeps us going. Yeah. Otherwise, the division is doing very well. And uh, anybody got questions? I know the division. It's nice to know you're there. That's all. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Uh, moving on to Northampton neighbors. It's it's going well. We're over 300, and you know, regarding a lot of those people that are members are not necessarily people that come into the senior center. But you know what? They come into the senior center now because there's meetings and they're, they're kind of liking it. And um, uh, you know, a lot of them are retired professionals and, and they're seeing what the senior center is all about. And um, our, our um, partnership with them is really well, really good. And what I like about it is that you know, we can't do everything. Highland Valley can't do everything for everybody. The VNA does it. Everybody has kind of their, their places. And um, um, Northampton neighbors, through their volunteer system, they have 40 to 50 volunteers now that are trained and, and um, vetted. And um, they, so it, it works. It, it, they help neighbors and, um, to stay at home and give them that little bit of support that 
you know, professionals don't have time for. It's that so, small stuff, the, the little things yeah. that, that are important, yeah. but you can't call on a lot of these agencies. But anyway. They're averaging about two or three new people a day. So I think that, that continuing on um, in our partnership with them and our, our you know, they use our, our space um, for, for an office, I think that they might be moving to the DNA, but it's, it's, what, it's what everybody should be doing in the community. And you know, it's just kind of giving people the, the gumption and to do it and to know that they're part of a corporate, a, a group. Sorry, okay. Amanda, what's HVES? What's that? Highland Valley Elder oh. Services. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is, is, this a, is this across the state? Or is it just. What's like, is this where, where am I seeing? Where are neighbors. you seeing HVES? I don't know, Hampton Neighbors, HVES, Highland Valley Elder Services. Oh, Highland Valley no, Elder Services. A, yeah. So this is just in this area. I can the city of the The Northampton Neighbors is part of the Village Woman. The Village Woman is it's national. Just, Oh, okay. All right. And, um, but yeah, so cool, and I don't hear it in other parts of the state. But in Northampton, no, you, you might. Well, yeah, it started at Beacon Hill. Okay. And, and that was that one, that was about 15 years ago. Right now, there's 200 um, villages in the United States, but almost all of them it, it request a membership fee. In it. And uh, when you start looking at who belongs, you start, oh, this is kind of elitist group. Mm -hmm. And when I first offered that w I would be on their board, I said, mm, I can't, I can't, I want to resign because I don't believe in this. You know, I don't believe that, yeah, you have to write a check for $1,000 every year, you know, because that eliminates half of the people. So they, they dropped the membership fees. And um, so we're one of the few in the country that doesn't expect a membership fee. But we also have to do fundraising and we have to do, um, you know, yeah, a lot of okay. other things. But I just wasn't sure if it was statewide or just local. It's, it's, it's national. It's national. national. It's under um, Google Village, okay. Village Movement. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, yeah. uh, I think next up is Jim. Writers Conference? Oh. Only one we know. The Writers Conference is underway still. Mm -hmm. uh, working on it. I got two negatives for sure. But I got seven positives, so I figure if I get seven for two by the time January comes the F, by the time this month meeting next week, we should have the whole, I should have the program completely filled in. Mm -hmm. And we'll be able to actually set up and make the folders and flyers and yeah. put them out and everything else. Okay. What are those dates again, Jim? May 5th, 4th and 5th. It's the first weekend in May. Yeah, I think you're right. Fourth and fifth is a Friday, Saturday. The club, the Elks Club is already reserved for Saturday night. Um, they're going to put up, we think we're going to have at least 18 booksellers, many of which we need to get in contact with the author of the month here. I would like to be able to have them, a list of them, if you could get that to me and I'll email them if they want a table, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And I think if they haven't, if they're not involved in one of the classes or seminars, I'm gonna charge them for the table. I mean, it's probably gonna be minimal, maybe $20, 10 to 15, 20, somewhere, so that they'll have something invested in it so they'll call them for sure. Mm -hmm. put their books out and we'll sell them and we're working on discounted drinks and little snacks and everything. how about accommodations where uh, anything where um, people gonna I stay don't for think we're going to need accommodations it's not hopefully it's not that big yet <laughs> but, <laughs> but, if it's, but I think we're gonna enough, I think we've got enough you only can put 250 people in here in basically so you put the 250 people in we're probably going to be able to get 200 elders, seniors, and 50 non-seniors. But I, I guess I was thinking, if it's a two-day, that's you're staying in a hotel room. Where are they staying? Oh, where are they staying? That's what I mean. At their homes. At, at what? At their homes. Oh, they're, they're all local. local people. Yeah. Oh. oh no, I've got I've got two of the people that are coming to give oh. their presentations. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, they're staying at my house. Oh. Yeah, there's no. So, oh, they're mostly local. Oh, yes, they're hotel mostly hotel everybody local. Yeah. I, got, I got three or four coming in Saturday morning for three or four, um, what do you 
home. Do they have the option of only going for one day? Yep. Yep. You can pay 50 bucks for one day or 100 bucks for two days. And the $100 will include the time at the Alps? Yep. Yep. And the fifty dollars wouldn't include the time at the Alps, would it? Yep. Oh, well, oh no matter if what. If you buy one ticket, Alps. I don't care where gotcha. it's going to come from. You're yep. going to be able to go there every night. Gotcha. Okay. To the thing. Okay. Okay, we're time is getting short again. Any other questions? Okay, let's move on to Ern. Ern's doing really well, and um, we're going to have our second employment fair at the beginning of um, in the spring. So. Um, you know, we're, we're meeting all of the objectives that we, we did get a, a, a community grant block, a block grant um, of 4000 and uh, we've met all the objectives we put down and um, it, I think that this has a lot of uh, potential and I, I hope we keep going. Do we get any jobs out of that? Our, our first jump here, um, s uh, s 80 to 90 people came and um, 20 got hired. That's good. Yeah, yeah, I was really happy, yeah. and but we're we're going to be really working on um, who's coming this year, this time. Like we didn't have the colleges represented, we didn't have the city represented, and we have all these these um, little part-time jobs that would be absolutely perfect for a lot of people. So um, anyway, so we're working on that, and we're also inviting um, Suzanne Beck has been invited to our next board meeting so um, she can promote us to the business community um, you know it, it, it just fits into like what a lot of us around the table are looking for just maybe um, a part-time position with some flexibility and and there's a lot of businesses and a lot of colleges and the city has those those top job opportunities out there just right. making them that connections so it's good, good. any questions Okay, uh, Highland Valley Elder Services report. Kathy unfortunately had to leave early for a seminar, uh, so we'll have that next time. Uh, new business, gift shop, Heather. I think we've gone yeah, over we that, haven't that. we? Yes. Okay. UMass interns. Okay, well, we're having um, the School of Nursing is providing us with a number of interns. Um, we're meeting um, the, and also with the, their professor because we, it's really hard if, if they don't have the supervision because none of us have the time to supervise the interns. Mm -hmm. So they're thinking of one of the, 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 the thoughts are that um, new people in, going into the, um, the fitness center, will they'll have their stats and, and then they'll monitor um, their progression at the end of the two months that they're here um, to see how their health has improved or it has or if it hasn't improved or whatever, their weight and all that, so they, they might be doing some of a, kind of an ongoing research project. That's one of the things. Then the normal things, like you know, doing some health presentations. But we're meeting with their, their intern supervisor next week to put more of a platform together. Mm -hmm. Any questions on that? Okay, how about Elms College nursing intern? Uh, Jeanette, uh, not Jeanette Foss. Karen Foss's daughter um, is a, a she's she's coming as an intern. She's a, a non-traditional student, a couple kids getting her undergraduate degree in nursing. Good woman. Um, and anyway, she's um, she's going to be introducing um, uh, anyone in the. Um, any older person coming to the center how to get on the portal for the hospital. She also works at the hospital so it's a nice connection. Um, and, and there's this whole, there's a whole element of, you know, everyone who has anything to do with the hospital is on their portal. So you have your own individual, um, you can read what the last tests were and all that. And it's a little complicated, but it's not too complicated, but she'll be able to interpret what it says and just and introduce you to the portal and sign you in. So, and, and she'll be here for like something like 18 hours or something like that. And the hospital's very happy about that. So it's a good thing. Any questions? <coughs> okay, moving on to <coughs> Sunday dinner. Sorry. You want to talk about that? Oh, sure. <laughs> um, Sunday, March 11th, we'll do the St. Patrick's Day dinner, corned beef and cabbage. Chef Barbara and John have decided to cook again for us, so thank you for that. <laughs> I will be looking for volunteers. Sunday, March Sunday, March 11th. Jim and I are already on for the what time? 11.30, 1.30. So we have tried, and I think we have success. 
successfully avoided all other St. Patrick's events. Um, it's tricky with the parade and all the other dinners that go on. You got a cost? Um, I do not off the top of my head. I think it's probably 10 in town and 15 out. Do you know that's daylight savings when the clock is <coughs> No, nope. so that horrible. night before, yeah. Heather, what did you tell me? What did you say? 11.30 to 1.30 will be the dinner if volunteers could show up around 10.30. Yeah. So I have Bob. <coughs> Any entertainment? Hello. Oh, 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 any entertainment? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do, dance? Okay. <laughs> We're going to get the cake. You can go out of the cake. <laughs> We know what you want. Um, those things are things that Victoria will be handling. I don't handle those details anymore. Yep. So okay. I'm not sure. There will be entertainment, I just don't know what it is. Yeah. Well, I guess. Tell me and I have Come on, tell us what you're doing. Do you want me to do the names? Yes. Open. First. Yep. Meet your arm twisting out there and get them, get on them. We get mm -hmm. down. Yeah, the kids again, those high school kids. So I have mm -hmm. you all on a list, but we will remind you the next meeting and we'll call and remind you before. Yeah. Okay. Sounds very good. Any questions on the St. Patrick's thing? Yeah. I presume you can call you the Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so. No, you can call you here already. I haven't done all my, set, my Valentine stuff yet, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold on. You scared me. You scared me. That, that box is one, one back in those days. I'm going to go see your basement. <laughs> uh, maybe a personal site. Okay. Uh, do you have anything for other? Yes. I have had four or five questions as to are we going, what are we going to do furthermore on the genealogy thing that we started in with the library. Has there been anything done on that that I can say to anyone? No, it was just, um, it, it looked, that when we finished, it looked like the library was taking on, uh, you know, like more individual, um, ex I'll, I'll call and check, cause, but they never go back to me again, so I'll follow through. Yeah. Was Susan really, I mean, I liked it. I thought it was a great Susan thought it was nice, but a, a lot of people talked to her afterwards because they didn't hear about it. Mm. And we had lots, as usual, you know, mm. how come we didn't hear about that, how come we didn't hear about that, and that was advertised fairly well, I thought. And from both of us. Yeah. And so, you know, on both sides of the fence, but there are a lot of people today interested. Uh, we covered one of them, Mrs. Hubbard. Okay. Yeah, all right, well, let me she call was like, She was here, like, almost all the time and never even heard about it, so. Okay. We do have to keep reminding people to uh, read their concentrate chronicles. Yep. We're actually also talking about changing some things within the building. There's so many different spots to find information. Yeah, that's right. Um, we have visited Holyoke, and they have one spot where you walk in, and all the information is right, right. there, and it's really it just right. makes yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah. So that's something I know. It's almost like I use the gift store for. Yeah. Put it right inside the gifts. There's a lot of ideas mm. going around. Yeah. Yeah. So but the something. revolving uh, uh, bulletin boards were a nice idea, but scattered around the building. That's just mm. too much. Yeah. Too yeah. Too yeah. Also, it's so dated. Too many places. So dated. Do we still have that people come and just there that things. It's not working yeah. for us. They look um, terrible when you walk in. It's yeah. kind of one of those rainy days, snowy day, quiet day projects. <laughs> um, so it's sort of on our radar. It just hasn't happened. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully that will help when people are coming and saying, oh, how come I didn't know? And you can just point and say, well, did you look? Yeah, the trips and travel it's on the there. front desk is a, is a, a good lineup. Yeah, That's people a good know. Example. But it's not, like, you're right, it's all over the place. It's, there's yeah. no yeah. one place to yeah. go for all the information and everything. If we set it up with, here's the travel, here's the copies of the yeah. Chronicle, here's the schedules, because I hear people ask all the time, where do I get this? But all in one I place. Need to be here. Yeah. 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 That's a good idea. Yeah. Sounds good. Any other, uh, John? Uh, um, what's the update on Teresa Dunn? Um, I called her and I emailed her, and the email came came back. Mm -hmm. So um, 
I, I was just telling Bob that I'm writing a letter to her formally, and I, I'm, my, my more, I'm almost more concerned about, do you know what? I think she might be down with her son. In I Boston? asked Mary Musanti, who's a neighbor, Oh, oh if good. Um, she's heard anything about it, and she said she was in a nursing facility for a while for a rehab. And, I, and Mary thought that she might be uh, down on the Cape with her son. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, that would, I was waiting for to, yeah. to that hear. That made from more that. sense because we've been you know, calling her at home and and, and nothing, yeah. no response. So maybe send a letter that the mail's forwarded or something. At least to, I was assuming. Has that. she ever gone on any one of our trips because there'd be an emergency contact person? We have the emergency. Could, okay. okay. Yeah, and he, it's a, a son in um, the Boston area, so oh. yeah. So I think we have to formally follow the process now, though, and I, th I plan on doing that tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. And notify the mail also. I wanted to call one more time. Yeah. Okay, another question. Yep. <clears throat> Is somebody here all the time that knows CPR? We're we every staff member yeah, every in staff the training. They've all been trained on. Yeah. Okay. Do we have the so if someone is yes. here that knows how to yeah. do it, yes, all the time. Something we should know. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody brought it to my yeah, attention. No, it's true. So no, um, it, when the when the official well, when officially when the senior center is open, there's someone on staff that can do it. Okay. And in the at night, we have a building monitor, and it's, it's a different clientele too, so we don't have that. I'm not trained. We don't have that. I but, personally don't know what happened to Teresa. Yeah. So what what happened? Is it okay to ask what happened? I have no idea. Have no idea. No. She just never fell off the radar. Yeah, we have she no hadn't shown up for just what, three or yeah. four months, five months. Oh, so yeah. 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 It sounds like her neighbor knows, though, right? And no, Mary, it sounds like she's. Just Mary knows everything, but she didn't really. Mary won't tell you everything. <laughs> no. She, well, my guess, the no. police will do a well-being <laughs> check. If you call the Northampton police, they will go to and they will do a well-being check. Yep. Walk them on the house, right. looking in the windows, they'll do all right. that, and they're used to it. Yep. So I don't know if we want to have that done. Well, but anybody who doesn't calls mean, have that done. Because she's been living with her son. Well, they don't know that. That's true. Yeah. 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 But, no, but I mean, at this true. length of time, if she's collapsed in the house, I mean, she's bones by now. And I know that these guys have to go to the meeting, but yeah, I know. Is that changing? I have to, um, regarding the, the taint of, um, yeah. uh, Mass Council on Aging just got a, a huge grant of 300000 for a dementia friendly, um, to be, uh, to support the, um, Council on Aging's to become, um, or senior centers to become dementia friendly. There's going to be a, a special meeting next month at this time in South Hadley with the Executive Office, um, with the Secretary of Elder Affairs. I really think I have to be there. And um, Kathy is going to the meeting today um, for Dementia Friendly. And so if we, we're following that path and there'll probably be some, um, some funding that will support that, I think we need to be at the, because we, we really do need to we do do more things for people with dementia. We don't do anything. Mm -hmm. So when we do when do you want to have that meeting? Oh, the fun. Mm -hmm. we, that, would, that works. Yeah. We're, what, we, we're pushing a change the for the meeting. Two eight would be the normal meeting. Yeah. Good thing. Um, so instead of the the third Thursday, the twenty second, the fifteenth, the twenty second. No, not the third oh, Thursday. No, we're the second. Yeah. We're the second. Oh, we're the second. Right. So it'll be oh, the fifteenth. The fifteenth would be the third. Yeah. Hold on. Twenty second is the end of the month. That one. Is the fifteenth okay? Mm -hmm. I'm t now I'm thinking that when I first looked at it, I was thinking the third Thursday. Um, Does it have to be a Thursday? No, it doesn't. But well, no, it's just it's good. Can I um, can I? I'll just get in touch with you in the next couple of hours or days tomorrow. I'll I'll leave you a note. So it'll be whatever. It'll be following that meeting. It'll either be um, the fifteenth or the twenty second. Okay. I prefer the 22nd if it makes any difference. It does? Oh, you do? I don't care. Does I'll, it be, I'll be here. I'll be here for that one. The eighth time I oh, the same Does it matter time. to anyone if it's the 22nd? No. Matter what? Okay. okay. Then let's make it right now it's the 22nd. Thank okay. You. okay. I know this is off the radar. Uh, the health and safety fair. Do you know the date? Not off the top of my head, but I have it. We can get it to you. Okay. What's the second week in May? Yeah. 
Second, yeah. Second. Is, is it on the calendar already? Is it on the 10th? Get another meeting? Then it's the 10th. Yeah. Is it on the calendar? Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, so it's already. It should be. Okay. Thursday, the 10th of May. Okay, uh, I have a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Let's go. And, uh, second. 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 Who's second? Uh, Who's second? Who's second? Well, anybody. Second. Somebody will say yes. Thank you, everybody. All, all those in favor. Aye. Uh, all those opposed. <laughs> can stay right here. Yeah, really.